March 30th, 2022. Guys, we just had a next flare a few minutes ago. It's not showing up on the other satellites, but it is here on the SDO. All of this is linked on our website at bpearthwatch.com. Check that out. Power flare. It was uh, an M1.8, I think. We'll check the chart. But it, again, it is Earth-facing. The CME trackers have not picked this up yet, or they haven't had time to model it. But uh, you can see right there over the red line, and uh, we had that. That's maybe the second X flare of the year. But this area has been very active, and if you look at the probability, it hasn't changed from the video this morning about the incoming CME this afternoon. Again, another uh, look at the uh, GOES X ray flux one minute data. Notice at the bottom where it says maximum March 30th today, 737. GMT X 1.3, excuse me, not a 1.8, and you can see the peak. That's the last thing that's happened as far as the solar activity this afternoon. I'll be looking at the CME trackers uh, again this afternoon to see if, where the if there's a CME that's been generated by this X, X flare, how powerful it is, and exactly where it's going. Again, this thing is Earth facing. We're watching it, guys. The tornado threats are increasing across the southeast. Please go to weather.gov, and that will give you the ability to click on your area and look at the warnings. Also, turn your weather radio on. Make sure your cell phones, tablets are charged up. These high winds more than likely are going to take out a lot of power across the southeast between now and uh, late Thursday. We're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.